Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. Oh, what a day already, man. I've been doing so many readings and I'm so blessed to be here uh, doing this for you guys. So um, we're doing the monthly zodiacs. Uh, this will be from today up until um, March 15th. And I am grouping them together in elements. There will be an extended as there always is. It will be available in Patreon, which is a paid subscription, um, at the 444 level or up. Okay. If you resonate with being a uh, twin flame or if you believe you're in an ascension process with a high level soulmate, you might want to check out the 1111. And if you're interested in workshops on divination, and crystals and healing techniques, you may want to look at the 2222, which is the highest level. It's the VIP level where you get all the content. Okay, so, oh, and the, and the link will be in the description box below. If you'd like to book a personal private reading, you can still do so. Um, I'm finally caught up. I've got two readings left to do, and I believe I'll get them done today. So if you're interested in a personal private reading, check out the description box. And if you'd like to donate a deck in order to um, receive a complimentary, um, you know, one question reading, everything you need to do that is in the description box below as well. All right, let's get into it. Give me just a second. I'll bite ducks in a row so this is for the element of water and like i said we will be taking it over to the extended this is for love romance relationships for the for um the rest of february all the way up till the 15th of march all right we have the ace of cups the Death card and the Eight of Swords. With idea, inspiration, suggestion, and vision. I'm going to put that there with that Eight of Swords. We have energy. Very good. I know exactly what's going on with this so far. We have self-care. I want to put that under the Eight Ace of Cups. We have Chop Wood. <laughs> chop Wood Carry Water. We have Healing Heart. Healing from Heartbreak. Freedom from Toxic Relationships or Addictions. We have Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. We have Boundaries. Wow. Am I getting these at least mostly in? Um, and then we're going to get messages. Well, I want to get this one out. Contracts, career, commitment, Saturn. Okay, we got Saturn energy here. Until debt tear us apart. All right, so um, I'm going to be honest With pile or with the water signs this month, it looks to me like you are possibly So, this is about frequency. This is manifestation. All right, 101. Water signs. You need to keep your vibration out of wherever it is you find yourself at the moment. Because it looks to me like you're self-sabotaging is what it looks like. Um...
you know, okay, so y'all know I channel. I believe with the energy card and the fact here that we've got chop wood that's working on something, that's hard work, right? With the Ace of Cups and self-care and the healing heart, I believe, and the boundaries, I believe you've been going through a transformation and you're in the phase of self-care, self-love, boundaries. But I also believe that if you're currently in a relationship or dating, it feels to me like you are projecting some kind of fear. Although fear isn't here. This is like um, until debt tear us apart. And we've got the eight of swords. Now, I didn't set these up like I normally do, where it's you versus your person. I decided this month to just read intuitively. And so, It feels to me like one person, you can choose who you are. One person is in a phase of their life. Well, both people are transforming, just so you know. There's death and transformation here. I believe whoever is on your heart and mind, water signs, um, there is this energy of... One person having ended contact with the other person or energetic sharing, I'll say, because we have a boundary here, with the other person. And they have been working on focusing on themselves. All right. Energetically, their focus is on themselves. Self-love, which could come in the form of dating other people um, pursuing their career, um, losing weight, just really kind of focusing on their bigger picture, their life, their happiness. And they've put up a boundary and possibly even kind of a type of energetic ending, which by the way is creating change it's creating transformation but both people here are transforming and and going through an awakening so i would be willing to bet that that the water signs resonate with high level soulmate right whether it's karmic well they're all karmic <laughs> but i guess what i'm saying is um whether or not this is twin flame i'm i'm not really picking up for sure but it's definitely karmic it's here to teach you a lesson and so one person is loving themselves i think that spirit has actually guided them to focus on their own healing their own energy their own self-love it says take time to replenish your body and spirit and watch yourself bloom there's been a boundary placed here And I think the reason why this person has done this is because they were going through this feeling of being stuck in energy with the other person. There was a lot of waiting. This feeling of being karmically connected through Saturn. Saturn's the planet of karma. It's the planet of time as well. I believe there's a timing element here. I believe there was stagnation um, because healing needed to take place. 
And you needed to get some kind of clarity. And I think spirit has been inspiring both parties. And I believe the other person, so one is self self-loving, self-caring, and maybe even the other person as well. But I'm getting another story for um, the other person. Like I said, kind of try to figure out which energy feels like you. But I believe that this, this ending or this energetic um, shift, because I do believe there was a shift in the divine feminine energy of... And by the way, we have both within us. So it doesn't matter if you resonate with being a female body or a masculine body. But but if whoever is resonating with this self-love, self-care, healing their heart energy, which both I believe could, but one is definitely sitting in the energy of Hmm. Just give me a minute, guys, because this is, it's there. I'm getting several stories. So let, let me finish that story. Okay, so I feel like um, feminine energy, perhaps not person, but feminine energy. Somebody is sitting in the fe feminine energy of self love, self care boundaries. Okay, but I'm feeling distortion. So it's not empress energy, it's not balanced feminine energy. There's a bit of distortion here because I'm seeing stubbornness with this girl cutting her hair, freeing herself from perhaps some sort of um, feeling stuck, feeling boxed in, feeling stagnant. I'm hearing stagnant. Tired of waiting for something to shift unable to come up with any inspired ideas on how to get this other person in a vibration of togetherness and, and fun. And the other person, I believe this has been a catalyst because they may be now the ones feeling stuck and doing some inner work, chop wood, carry water, it's like one person's working and the other person one person's well both people are working on themselves come on tracy articulate here both people are doing inner work right now separately let's put it that way um the one that's sitting in the masculine energy because energy spirit wanted me to read this energetically the one that is sitting in the masculine energy um, is stuck in some kind of a commitment, contract, or career where they have, I believe that, that this person's energy has shifted this person's perspective with the idea. And I believe Spirit's saying that um, there's some fear here. I believe the distorted um, feminine energy is this, you know, we tend to go from distorted feminine, which is codependency, neediness, overgiving, chaser, right? And, and sometimes we flip that. On this journey because spirit heavily our higher self our ancestors our guides you know they heavily teach us lessons a lot of karmic lessons with this person and other soulmates whereby we really become a lot wiser and a lot stronger but there's also this this heart is made of steel and so what it makes me feel like is, is whoever resonates with being in this self-care mode, I feel like they were pushed by spirit to stand really firm in boundaries that they had been smudging for a long time. 
But I think they went to the masculine, and I, I think they pushed that to the masculine energy. Whereby it feels, it just feels like they're pushing their own energy forward because they felt stuck. And instead of doing the inner work, which they've been doing, by the way, great, doing great inner work, but they're still holding this other person or other people in their lives a bit accountable. And I wouldn't be surprised if the feminine energy doesn't somehow feel like the masculine energy owes them something, like an apology or a text. Or commitment. Commitment. It, this is much better energy spirits telling me than the energy that they were in before. And I'm hearing baby steps. I'm hearing don't throw the baby out with the bath water. So if you resonate with being the feminine, you've created some kind of an energetic ending of a cycle with this other person. You've put up some really strong boundaries with this person, which by the way, has them feeling shut out. And I believe that this other person is in some kind of a karmic situation with another person, either another person. Again, it says contracts, career commitments. Could be another relationship, could be a family dynamic, could be a job responsibility. I'm hearing responsibility. They've got responsibilities elsewhere. And this wall, because it feels like a wall with the steel heart, was divinely inspired. Because it serves a purpose at this time with this other person. It's literally mirroring projection right we look in the mirror and project into that mirror our own fears our own limitations our own inner self talk and i believe that this person over here has learned a lot about who they are by looking in the mirror and they're changing and they're doing so because they were inspired to by spirit they've raised their frequency they're sitting in self-love but instead of building a boundary, it feels like they've built a wall between them and this person. There seems to be some kind of a line drawn in the sand where one person has said to the other, I have expectations because I know my value, I know my worth. I, I, need for you to honor something for me. I don't know what this person expects, but it's, you know, it's a collective reading. But one person feels like the other person owes them something. And the other person feels like they're bound contractually in another situation. And they can't seem to get an idea on how to get out of it. And it's created stagnation. And I do believe it, it's all air here because we have idea with the Eight of Swords. It's all about what they're thinking, which is creating a mirroring effect on one another. This one's mirroring to this one. This one's mirroring to this one. And both of them are in this cocoon of healing separately. I believe this person over here, the masculine energy, is probably in a toxic relationship or dealing with a contract at work or, or um, family dynamic. Whatever it is, it's created stagnation and this person feels stuck and they want to get out of it. And this person over here felt stuck with them. They were stuck in their energy. They couldn't stop thinking or chasing, chasing this person and so this card applies to both people this card applies to both well, they pretty much all do what this person over here needs is what this person is mirroring to them self-love 
This person needs to choose them. They need to choose their own happiness. They need to choose to free themselves from whatever limited thoughts or belief systems that have been holding them back. They need to lighten the fuck up. Both of you need to kind of... Um, but I'm telling you, it's not going to happen because this person over here has been divinely guided to shut down this person because that's what's going to create the catalyst for this person over here to change, to to quit focusing on. I, I'm seeing a pendulum going back and forth. I don't know where my pendulum is, but I'm seeing a pendulum swing back and forth. This person over here has love and, and obsession is what I'm feeling energetically over here. The energy is very strong between these two people. and But they are mirroring. So this one wanted to be free and freed themselves. This one still wants to be free, needs to free themselves. This person is not going to budge stubborn. Because by budging, they would believe... At this time, that if they compromise their integrity, then this person will once again cross a boundary with them that this person has hard, had a hard time learning how to maintain. And so it's not balanced masculine and feminine energy. It's distorted feminine in distorted masculine. My way or the highway. I know my value. I know my worth. And I am not going to be stuck with you anymore. I'm going to focus on me. Which, by the way, flips a switch within this person. Because now they're realizing something. And they're watching this other person. They're feeling stuck. They're feeling abandoned. It's created a dynamic of them to go within and start looking at their own stuff. And why am I in this toxic relationship or this toxic job or this toxic commitment? Well, I'll tell you why. Because they have thoughts that limit them. I'm not good enough. She won't or he, she or he will not love me. Nobody's going to, you know, I feel like this person has built something that they thought was going to be good, and it turned out to not be so much. And now they feel committed. They feel like they're stuck. Like, how do I, how do I figure out what I need, what I want? And there's a fear of rejection and abandonment there's an abandonment wound on both sides and that's where you're triggering each other and mirroring to each other but this one over here is going to come up with an idea i already see it it's coming up with an idea they're they're thinking and there's an ending that i think they're creating I'm not going to make any promises, but it feels like this person has some sort of inspiration now. Inspiration, suggestion, and vision. Whether that's literal or figurative, you know, it could be watching this person is now giving them ideas because they're like, well, if they can do it, I can do it. And I feel like they're feeling a, a bit pressed for time. Saturn is about time. Chop wood's about time. I think they're hoping somehow to lighten this back up again. Let's see what else comes out. So we have <laughs> beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so. The qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. I told you, you're mirroring each other. Beware. Be aware. I don't want to say beware. I want to say be aware of what you are accusing this other person of, if this is you, 
or if this is you, what are you, um, because this one here is angry at this one and this one is hurt and this one is now realizing that they could possibly have the qualities, the same qualities, the same capability, the same ability to create what they're watching this person create now. The qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Also, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So that's a big one for this month. You guys are totally mirroring each other. I don't know where this is going to go. We're going to take a look at that in the extended. But we're going to get some messages from your person, um, from the Hermit Tarot. Um, and then we will take this to the extended and I intend to um, pick this apart because, well, first of all, I wanted to give you the advice that I'm getting. This is all about manifestation. These two people are not on the same wavelength right now. Um, they are in distortion. And one is rising in frequency and the other one can't match it yet but is being inspired by watching this person rise. Which they're proud of them and they're happy for them, but they're also triggered because they feel like they're being abandoned and left behind. And they feel like they've hit a wall. And that there's really, they, they're actually feeling like it's over. Or that somehow they're running out of time. Or it will be over. And so, this person has mirrored something to this person that this person is now kind of realizing. And this person has mirrored to this person, self-worth. I believe this person took too long. They had too many commitments, maybe even karmic connections, cycles that their learning lessons have to complete. And I feel like this person over here has cleared most of those karmic debts, but is still contractually, karmically connected to this person. Your advice is to hold your frequency if you're this person, but also to be in an energy of acceptance and flow instead of the masculine energy of pushing. Because it, it feels to me like we had a, run, a chaser and a runner, and now we have a, a potentially shift where this person could possibly, I'll look in the extended, be switching gears to becoming the chaser but there's still more work to be done. And this person over here now has become, they, they don't believe it. They believe that they are in their divine feminine empress energy, but what they're really doing is distorting their masculine energy through ego, stubbornness, and a feeling of resentment it's so weird it's like there's gratitude I'm feeling gratitude for what this person mirrored to them but there's also this this line that this person has drawn my way or the highway because they haven't yet learned the art of flow receiving energetically trusting, trusting, trusting. Thank you, spirit. This person still is not trusting this person. And they don't trust their own judgment when it comes to this person. And possibly is out there mixing and mingling with other soulmates, learning that trust issue, learning how 
to have healthy boundaries. And I think they're struggling. I think they're, they're putting up walls. They're allowing people in, but then they're not allowing those people in. That could be friendships. It could be employers. It could be anything. It could be romance, ace of cups. But this person over here, I believe, I believe both people are in a karmic cycle of learning. Whether, no matter what that looks like. Whatever dynamic this person has created for themselves through this energy of higher frequency, higher vibration, I believe they are in the energy of love and that's going to bring connection toward them. And in that connection, they're, they're going to have to learn healthy boundaries, not walls. And when they put up walls, they're going to meet with resistance, which will mirror back to them this original wound with this person over here. God, this is a deep channeling. All right. So anyhow, your advice before I give you, um, well, I'm going to go ahead. Thank you, Spirit. We have, you have so many choices and options. I feel like that could possibly be this person's belief of this person over here mm, i'm gonna channel got it feels like i'm gonna be channeling guys i wanted these to be shorter but they're not all right so my life started when i met you isn't that beautiful that's two of cups energy and we have love is the answer right there i'm gonna put that over so the fear here is that this person feels like they're losing this person over here they feel like you know they've put up a wall they've they've they love themselves they're you know choosing new adventures new friendships new romantic partners perhaps i don't know um but i feel like this person over here is now realizing that this person really was their two of cups and that this love, this self-care, this self-love, self-healing is the answer. It's like, well, you know, they could be in a karmic cycle where this one over here is learning other things with other soul partners. And this one over here might just manifest that also in order to learn. But I feel like they already have. I feel like there might be either this person's in a new contract or they're in a, a, a contract they've been in for a while. But... What's being mirrored is that both of this one's thinking, you know, you don't have to be stuck. You have so many choices and options that you could come up with in order to end and heal and raise your frequency. And that's the resentment that this person over here is still holding on to that they're not aware of. Or maybe they're aware of it, but they feel justified in it. And this card also for this person, because they're looking at this person thinking, you know, why would you want me when you are sitting in this beautiful energy and possibly attract, very attractive at this time? And I believe this is both of you. You both really have a very strong connection probably past life connection. And this is, I believe, your advice from spirit. Frequency, love is the answer. Self-love and love for others. See, when we start loving ourselves in the distorted masculine energy, we forget to be compassionate and empathetic to the other because we somehow feel slighted. And they feel slighted because you probably either just completely energetically disconnected or you put up an ultimatum of some sort. So Spirit's saying love is the answer to fix this and to raise the frequency back, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. It's like Spirit's saying you need to take it back before whatever happened, before the trauma bond whether it's one you developed together and, and probably did, but it's also one from your childhood, which 
created this attraction to begin with. And there's hope in this situation because spirit is saying it's about manifestation. Hold the frequency and energy of love and innocence and fun. And go within and do the healing work that both of you need to do during the separation because it's karmic. It's here to teach you the lesson that love is the answer. Nothing but unconditional love. Yes, it's okay to be in the energy of self-love and self-protection because you are going to manifest new people, new romantic partners for some of you, new friends, new jobs. This is like focusing on your highest and best life, but in a distorted way whereby you feel that I would be willing to bet you'll manifest people that you put up walls with and eventually learn the lesson because you might lose them. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe even toxic relations. It's like a do-over just to see where you're at. It's like a temperature check. Only take it if it resonates, okay? So I'm going to take this over to the extended. In, um, from this day that you watch this until March 15th, um, your biggest advice from spirit is to raise your vibration, deal with any resentment, hurt, or anger. Whatever this person over here triggered you in that created this energy of, oh, I'm going to take a hard left on you and focus on me. It's almost like spirit saying, okay, but we see that there's still some pain so you might get some practice in the next month um, with other soulmates on how to maintain this self-love in a healthy way and not a my way or the highway way. Balance is key. And I think spirit's going to test you. And I think you may find that you might just possibly fail this test. But when you do, it's going to shift your energy back to love. Not just love of yourself, but love of the all. It's union, right? The first union where you love everybody and everything and you're compassionate. And you can have healthy boundaries where you don't allow other people to harm you. But not because they're going to harm you, but because nobody can harm us but ourselves, our own beliefs, our own thoughts, our own expectations is what harms us. And I think that you could possibly realize if you're over here, and I do believe most of you watching will be over here, but that's okay if you feel like you're over here. I believe that this is one more play in the healing game. And until both people learn to love themselves in a healthy way and to send that kind of love out to others without expectation, without projection, without running or chasing or just without fear, fearlessly loving unconditionally, no matter what the outcome. This is where these two people are being guided and inspired through whatever's going on. And so this person has a karmic debt. I believe that they're stuck in that is meant to teach them to love themselves and to not blame the job or the family or the friends or the romantic or marriage, whatever that third energy is. They have to also learn to forgive them 
and to release that in a very balanced, loving way instead of hateful. And I don't think they were capable of doing that until they saw this person over here do it. And I think it's inspiring them to create change in their own dynamic. And I could just keep channeling all day long with this. So if this resonates and you would like to follow me over to the extended, I'm going to be um, using another deck of tarot um, to clarify these energies. And then I'm going to get some more oracles for advice. A door of opportunity. I'm going to get some messages from your person's higher self and some love songs. So if you'd like to follow me over there, uh, click the Patreon link below and um, join at the 444 or higher level and you will get every single one of my extendeds. You will also get exclusive content once a week that nobody else gets on YouTube. It's, it's exclusive to the Patreon community. And if you resonate with being a twin flame or a high level soulmate or being on an ascension journey with a romantic or spiritually romantic partner, then the 1111 or the 2222. The 2222 is also teaching divination techniques and workshops, and you get all exclusive content that's uploaded. All right. I love you, and I will see you over on the other side. Namaste.